Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. So, um, because today I have some uh, free time, I decided that maybe we should move forward with the uh, new lessons from uh, the hygiene passport test. And um, today uh, we're gonna start studying about microbes. So before studying microbes, uh, we we're gonna review the qu questions and answers from the previous uh, lesson about perishable food. So um, for those who uh, haven't accessed to the question and answers from the previous video, uh, this is a quick review for you so that you know like uh, the explanation of each of the reason behind the answer like true or false. So number one, uh, perishable food requires special condition for preservation. So yes, perishable food are those that are deteriorated quickly if not stored under specific temperature and humid uh, conditions. So it means that it requires uh, uh, special condition here is like temperature and humid humidity second um, perishable food can be stored together with other type of food without any issue so it's for of course because uh, you should store for example meat different differently uh, to um, for example vegetables so you cannot like mix them together even when you are just like cutting the meat and you should not use that knife that you are already cutting the, the meat from and use it to cut like vegetables that is not hygiene thing to do third question is about both low and high temperature can be used to preserve perishable food so some food require low temperature or some food require high temperature so here uh, they give examples like some food require refrigeration like when you put food into refrigerator or some need cooking like for example uh, heavy meat like pork or beef or meat from um, moose or yeah Number four, perishable food are primarily derived from plants and vegetables, so it's wrong. We have also meat, milk, eggs. Number five, preservation of perishable food depends mainly on light exposure. So it also depends on temperature, humid, not only light exposure. Six. Perishable food are less susceptible to spoilage than non-perishable food. So it's not less, it's more. So food that are easy to perish will be easier to get spoiled. Number seven, perishable food can be safely stored at room temperature indefinitely. So it's not true because not food cannot store indefinitely always have like the um, required time for it yeah and of course with not not with room temperatures number eight the preservation of perishable food does not require consideration of humidity level some food require the humidity condition so it's false Number nine, cooking perishable food can uh, can be an effective way to preserve them. Yes, it can kill bacteria and extend the shelf life. Okay, number ten. I think this is the one that we we me did wrong last time. Perishable food can be identified by their long shelf life. So let's take a look closer. It's false. I chose it's true uh, perishable foods have a shorter shelf life and more prone to spoilage compared to non perishable food which can be stored for longer period so it's not long shelf life it's short it's not like long it's uh, 
it's shorter than non-perishable food so that's why it's false okay so we're gonna uh, continue and uh, for today we're gonna study about um, microbes all microbial species have the same requirements for growth condition it's not the same I think yeah temperatures has no impact on microbial growth it has impact oh no it's wrong okay okay oxygen availability is not a significant factor in food spoilage I think it's a uh, it's wrong yeah yeah All foods contain similar nutrition composition. If like they have like uh, something like all or like everything indefinitely, something like that, I for sure it's not not true because uh, of course there's nothing like same similar nutrition, so it's false. Preservatives can be used without any restriction in food preservation. So preservatives, chemicals, uh, can be used without restriction. It's false. Yep. Lowering the acidity of food product will always increase its susceptibility to spoilage. So it, it means like lowering acidity will always, always, so it's false, I think. Oh, it's not correct. Okay. Wow. This lesson is not easy. Environmental humidity has no impact on food spoilage. It has impact. Okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah, because I chose false. I should chose false. It's not true. Okay. Preservatives are compounds that promote microbial growth. It's not promoting. It's like make the growth uh, slower. So it's false. Yep. Additive regulation does not govern the use of preservative in food. Mm, I think it does govern, so this sentence is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> the use of Preservatives is solely for enhancing the flavors of food products. Like it only to improving the flavors. It's not only, it's uh, like it's also keep it like longer self life, I think. So it's false. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have a result now. Yep. We have been doing three wrong answers. 
we will continue with the next lessons about why are microbes and where are they found okay so we're gonna load some game pin here Let's start. Microbes are ma microscopic organism, uh, organism that can be seen with naked eyes. It's, no, it's micro, so it's, it's, it's not can be seen. Second, agar bacteria mold yeast and viruses are collectively referred as microorganism yes small microbes are only found in specific environments such as laboratory and hospital i think it can be found anywhere so yep the cloudiness of liquid in a food product package during storage is caused by the growth of microbes the clouding of liquid yeah tap water is completely germ free no it's not completely germ free i think because uh, in Finland there was um, news about like um, sometimes that when the company that making water they have problems they all, always like send uh, notification for people like there was some salmonella thing in there so purified water is never tested for quality after the purification process it should be tested so it's false yeah mold grows inside food products rather than on the surfaces this 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 one I don't know so is it inside or outside yes yeah so it means that it grow outside first okay spores are easier to destroy than vegetative self of microbes okay easier to destroy false Viruses grow and reproduce within food and water sources. True. Oh, it's wrong. Okay. Some bacteria and yeast require oxygen for their growth and reproduction. Yeah. Microbes are harmless to human and do not pose any health risk. I don't think it's harmless. It's harmful. Some, some harmful, yeah. Animal viral diseases can easily infect human. Yeah, I think because we have like chicken and uh, like bat some of the diseases that can infect human oh it's not easy okay microbes can form spores as survival structures can grow spores 
Yeah. Cool. Spores of some bacteria are less resistant to heat than vegest uh, vegetable cells. Less resistant. This one I don't know. Is, is spores like less resistant to heat? It's false. Okay. We will take a look at that uh, explanation later. A gale are a common cause of food spoilage. Yeah. True. No. Okay. Microbes are not found in air we breathe. I think it's in air, it's everywhere, so it's false. Microbes are unable to survive in extreme uh, environmental condition. It's, it's everywhere, so it's everywhere, so every condition, so it's false common knowledge nothing special viruses can infect a wide range of species including human and animals yeah nineteen microbes are always harmful no, it's not always harmful. It's some, some of them like help. Like for example, we make bread. Yeah, so it's not like completely. Microbes are not involved in the small spoilage of packaged food. It involves. So it's false. Yeah. Okay. So um. We have studied um, 20, 20 questions more and uh, we make like a uh, few wrong answer but above all uh, we made like 16 uh, questions and one uh, and four lessons are wrong okay yes so that is the end of today's practice um, I hope that uh, it will help you uh, to get more information about this unit and we will do more later